Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. I'm Viceroy and today, as promised, a little bit late granted, so I do apologize for that. We're going to play Gas Station Simulator Junkyard DLC. So I spent a good couple of hours getting the gas station to the level required to do this, so uh, I hope you all appreciate that. Without further ado, let's continue and have a look at the Junkyard DLC. So this is the gas station in its current form. Currently level 3. We are at popularity level 5. We have $1,851 in our account. So we've done okay. We've added a newspaper stand here. We still have our drink stand. We have our alcohol stand. We have our snacks. We have our car case stuff. We have a new poster. This looks cool. Still have our grandfather clock because why would we get rid of it? We still have our one pump. We also have, as you may see at the top of the screen, an employee. So we managed to get the part of the game where we can unlock employees. And let me tell you, it's much easier. So currently the employee is set to work during the daytime. And they work the cash register and fueling. So at least during the day, it takes that onus away from me. And we also have our fully operational garage on the go, which I've upgraded to level 2, so we can currently do oil changes in it as well. And we've also unlocked the bus stop. So the bus stop, if you haven't seen it before, basically, randomly, a bus full of party goers dressed with alien heads <laughs> will appear and want to party into your garage, uh, your gas station even. And um, yeah, they expect you to serve them. It's good income, providing you have a lot of stock, which I try to keep on top of because ordering stock can sometimes be a bit tricky because, you know, you want to sort of balance between having too much stuff and uh, not having all your money gone. But I think I'm doing okay with that at the moment. We have a decent amount of stock level. <clears throat> Just scan these few items and then we're going to upgrade to the next level. We can't have these people waiting. They wait, they want their chips, they want their cookies, they want their drinks. Hopefully no catapulting people's items this uh, time. We've also expanded, I don't know if you noticed, the parking area. I can't remember if we done that on the, the last video or whether I did it after the video ended to sort of rush to level four, but that is the current state of the garage. And I think we're looking quite healthy. I mean, we have a decent amount of money in the bank account. We don't have any loans. And I don't think I'm going to do that again because, yeah, that's that's painful if you can't pay back the loan. So I'm going to try and do everything from now on without relying on our um, loan shark of an uncle. At least that's the plan. But who knows? Things might get super expensive on the next uh, level and we may need to rely on it a little bit, but we'll we'll try and avoid it. So our last customer, and then we're going to upgrade the gas station to level 4 and go have a look at the junkyard. Awesome. There we go. So, computer. Upgrades. Gas station level 4. Let's go. Look at that. We can get new pumps in now as well. As you can see, there's plenty of room for extra pumps. But we have to answer the phone. All this space. I think next upgrade probably worth getting an extra fuel pump. I will say it straight. I need a favor. Oh, damn it. Guess it's that time of year. What's Better going on? Hide, Some sort of weather event? I will call you later. Just uh -oh. one thing. Clean up the sand piles when the storm is over. They might cause issues. Oh well that doesn't look fun. Um we should probably get inside. No, Rudy! Is he, is he... Oh, he's getting closer. Oh, okay. Everybody get inside! Oh, you're all gonna die! Oh, you're waiting, sorry. You should probably wait in here. It's amazing the sound insulation inside here, though. You can't hear the storm at all. How close is it? Who's getting closer? What's the mail message? Probably just the written version of what we just uh, were told. Oh. Finally, 
the name of your place comes to bite you back in your behind, little nephew. I figure you know what you signed up for, but I think we'll both do well with a reminder. I admit, I forgot about the sandstorm season as well. Apologies if you got a face full of sand because of that call. Regardless, if a sandstorm... It is sandstorm season, so they'll come around more often than not. Unfortunately, we haven't figured out how to get rid of them all these years ago, and we still have no method today. You will just have to weather the storm and clean up when things are said and done. As you saw, the limited visibility outside is the least of your problems. Sand is the biggest issue. Each sandstorm will bring an, about an abundance of sand. You'll have to ask old Rudy for a favour with. If it sounds simple, think about the pyramid. Sand means Rudy, Rudy needs fuel, and fuel is money. Sorry, nephew. Nothing anyone can help you with there. With you. Good luck. Oh, we experienced the sandstorm while we read now, you know. Happy days. Who was this guy? I've always dreamed of running my own car business. Oh, is this like the business prelude to the goes, junkyard? Dream big or go home. Well, and I have dreamed. Uh, but in these dreams, I've miscalculated a bit. I think this is the prelude to the junkyard DLC. Hey, Paul. We made folks. our goddamn money? Money? Well, not everything uh, when does I... That voice and guy sounded and looked familiar. I got into a lot of trouble in a lot of different <laughs> Mr. places. Sean. Always the same scenario. A pile of papers to deal with, invoices, payment requests. But for me, the only thing that mattered was cars. The sound of the engine, the flash of lights, the gentle caressing of the bodywork. I was quite interested again to get into this. One thing must go hand in hand with the other. Otherwise, funds run out very quickly. And when I was overcome with hopelessness and felt that I would never be able to create what I dreamed of, another chance appeared. And once again, I was one step away from failure. But this time, I feel there is someone here who can help me. Can we help him? Will we help him? Welcome to the Despo. Our junkyard. Oh, meals on duty. Oh, hi. <laughs> Restore the car wash. You can pay for the restoration from your computer. That's probably like five hundred dollars. Oh, that's full. Um, let's sort that out in it. Guess we'll do both at the same time. To the bins. To the trash can. Called dumpsters in America, aren't they? What's the email say? Um, email. Car wash. Oh. Speaking of Sansom's nephew, I'd like to introduce you to a certain idea. Don't mind. Turn your weakness weaknesses into your strengths. Or maybe it was a proverb. That doesn't really matter one bit. What does matter is knowing when to apply it. So what do you do when you have tornadoes of dirt visiting you on the regular? You capitalize. Remember, you're not the only one out there in the desert. Your customers are exposed to all that dust as well. I believe there's a ruin of an old car wash behind your station. Why don't you give it a little elbow grease and get it running again? I'm sure you know how to get a car sparkling clean. Grab the nozzle, adjust the size of the spray and angle it just right to get all the grimy gritty bits off whatever your client requires. And if you get a picky client, that's just another opportunity to charge them extra for every special service they might ask for. Others already managed to make people pay for water, nephew. So can you. Oh, the party bus is here. I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but they're hilarious. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> they dance everywhere. It's so all funny. It's <laughs> so good. Hello, Mr. Driver. <laughs> Who's beeping? Hey, you! Yeah, you! Yeah, no, you. Right, um, junkyard, junkyard, right, junkyard. Huh? I see you looking at it. Don't be shy. Looking at what? What you talking about? Okay, let's go. I know there's a customer at the garage. They have to wait. Oh, hang on. How'd that get there? Oh, we should probably sweep this. We get dirt complaints. 
Okay, we will start the Junkyard DLC shortly. I'm not sure if it's like tied into the main gas station or whether it's considered like its own little game on the side. We shall find out shortly. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, this is quite big now. What a space we have. Me. All the dirt they're cracking through the place. Come on, guys. How much do I owe you? Should probably make sure this place stays clean because the more that... This will help with the rating quite a lot if we manage to keep you in a decent state while these guys are here. She's pretty good at scanning oh, our um, Amelia or Emil, whatever her name was. I can't remember now. That move is quite funky. Who's beeping? You need fuel? No. Oh, what's happened with this guy? Ah. Okay, we're going to need Rudy for this. For you guys who don't want to see this part of the game, um, I will put a time stamp in the description so you can skip to the uh, the Junkyard DLC stuff. But we're just going to move this sand thing, otherwise it's going to bring the whole gas station to a halt. I don't know if this is the only gas uh, sand pile that's sort of... Um, oh, probably shouldn't run over our customer, should we? There we go. Drive free, my friend. Oh, that guy's there. Oh, do we need to go talk to him or just start the junkyard DLC stuff? And I see the guy's going to run the car wash. <laughs> I can't leave Rudy in the middle of the road here, though, because they'll block all our deliveries. And we don't want to do that. Cleanliness wise, the garage seems to be holding up okay. Yeah, Rudy, you can live there. Sort out the fuel. Alright, keep your ear on. Oh, was there another gas pile? Uh, gas pile. Sand pile. It was! <laughs> oh dear. We should probably go get some gas. Rudy's gonna need it. 72% approval level, though. That's pretty good. What's it looking in here? You go, party people. Seems clean enough, though. Yeah, we should probably sort this. Um... Come on, Emil. Is it Emil or Amelie? Oh, is this still full? Yes. promise we're just going to move the sand pile and then we will go do the junkyard stuff. Even though we just spent um, $1,500 upgrading the gas station to level 4, we're already back up to over $1,000 in our account. But I think we're doing quite well. Famous last words, I know, but I, I feel like we're doing quite well. There you go, that turbo go. Oh yeah. Oh, this guy's having a hard time, isn't he? <laughs> Be free, my friend. Any more issues with sand? We good? Can we get back out onto the highway? Human unlocked. Party bus. Had party bus arrived to the station. Huh? How, how am I only now getting that achievement? I've had at least three party buses before this one arrived. Not gonna complain. Achievement's an achievement. Keep an eye out for more sand piles that could cause an issue. But I think we're good for the moment. But I wonder if we need to go talk to this guy or we can just teleport to the uh, junkyard. Because that's over there. $1,188 now. Hello. My name's Sean. Hey, Sean. I've just started a new business around the corner. Car industry, as you can see. <laughs> Listen, I'm waiting for a transfer from a very lucrative contract. But I'm, I'm temporarily under the dash. He's gonna ask us for money, isn't he? Thought I'll reach out to my new neighbor. Got any spare cash to lend? <laughs> In return, I could show you a few tricks to make uh, money. Is that so, Sean? You want to lend five hundred dollars to Sean? 
Jó a... Why not? Yes! Oh, man, thank you! You won't regret it. I'll get back to my place. Arrange everything. We got our business on understanding now, my friend. Let's get on with it. We're starting a new chapter. <laughs> Holy shit, this is touching. I feel like in this sort of situation in real life, I probably would elect to help somebody. Okay, so he owns the car place next door. And we're going to order some fuel. And then we're going to do the junkyard stuff. Scout's on it. Uh, delivery, fuel. Oh, look at the price of fuel, though. Ouch. Okay. This is going in the bin. This is going in the bin. To the junkyard. Junkyard is currently closed. Hmm. So how do we unlock... Wait for a call off Sean. In the meantime, you can check your business. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to wait for a phone call off Sean, who is running the junkyard, to let us know when he's set up and ready. And then that's when we can use this link, so we'll just continue playing for the moment then. We'll unlock the uh, car wash. Oh, answer the call from Sean. <gasps> he's ringing. Let's go. I think Amelie's gonna finish work soon. Hey, what's up? It's Sean. What's up, Sean? You can hit my mansion. I'll show you around. Follow the road towards the hill. You'll see my place on the left. Gee, oh, gotta go. <laughs> see ya. Head to the junkyard gate. I mean, we'll, we'll walk there for the first time, but we'll use the shortcut from then on. Um, oh, the fuel. Um, oh, we'll, we'll do this for a minute. We're, we're okay. Customers can wait a sec. Um, sounds like Sean's getting beaten up. <laughs> Find other way to enter the junkyard. Nope, it's not that way because that's out of bounds. Must be another entrance here somewhere. Maybe this marker will show us the way. <laughs> Find ways, Sean. Hey, Sean. No. no. <laughs> I guess, you know, my friend came by. <laughs> what if the same lone sharks have visited us? Ah, too bad he already wrapped up. Come on, let's go inside. I'll show you the office. The junkyard DLC, folks. We finally here. We made it. Oh, look at all those warnings nice on the left. Place, isn't it? A place for top dogs only. I do like that. I do. <laughs> Buffalo gasoline. So, Buffalo gasoline. Here's our heart of operations. The board. Thanks to it, we can hunt for wrecks and bring them to the site. Okay. Then we extract some parts from these fallen beauties. <laughs> like a surgeon performing a complicated surgery to restore them to their former glory. Using tools that love tenderness. Okay, okay. Sean, I'm done. Uh, now you're gonna hunt <laughs> for your first racks, my man. Okay. How do I do it? What? You thought you were just gonna watch? Pretty much. Come on. Use the board. I left you some guidelines. Okay. Using the board. Use this map to hunt for wrecks. This icon represents a wreck that can be obtained from a delivery. Select it to see its details. All information about the delivery and wreck are displayed here. Not all of them are revealed from the start. Okay. Now select the driver you'll hire for this delivery. Each driver has a specific salary and chances to perform it. For $150, 85% to succeed. Confirm and pay. <laughs> Timmy, big tuna. Now order the second delivery based on the previous steps. Go for it, big tuna. That's our two drivers used. Use status button. All active deliveries are visible there. Okay, so we got 1 minute 40 left on that one, 1 minute 50 left on that one. If any of them won't arrive here, you'll also find the reasons for it. Okay. 
Now close the map and wait for the results. Simple as that. Now I need to wait a bit. In the meantime, I'll show you around. Uh, pick up the wrench from my desk. It will come in handy. This wrench? That, that's not a wrench. Yes, it is. You can keep it. <laughs> I named him Theodore. Theodore. Classy name, huh? Sure. Let's go then. The best name for a wrench. By the way, do you remember the transfer I told you about last time? I'm still waiting for that money. Something's not right. My cars went to some social welfare home in Romania. Hmm. They cannot be contacted. Sounds suspicious. So, nice done. The investor who brought me here is his best. Uh, he doesn't give me a break. My whole life in a nutshell. Okay. Anyway, now I'll show you the wrecks that I got recently. I'm getting really anxious about all the stuff that's left to do with the gas station. I chance to check them out yet, so I'm stoked. That's the best thing about it. You never know what you'll get in the end. It's like playing. Maybe I should have done this in the daytime. <laughs> When we had a staff on duty. And here it is. Uh, uh, a turd. Turd explosion of exceptional clash. Clash? Pass. Me. Come on. Take out the wrench. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Take a good look at this carrion. I already know everything. Use inspect mode to look for interesting see, paths. If you look closely, you can Battery. Catch more details. For use at gas station workshop only. Condition of each individual part says a lot about the history of the entire car. Workshop and mirrors, workshop wheels. Particular copy. It's pretty shitty. It's a shame we can't take wheels off to use in the garage. No, but maybe you can take these parts to your gas station. Oh wait, we can. Here. Come on. Take oh, that's quite handy. Dance. Yep. Keep going. Okay, that's uh, straightforward enough. It's cool that we can recover these parts so to use in the um, the workshop. Nice, okay. I, I really, hang on, I, I really need to go and sort this garage out. There's so many warnings. <laughs> we'll be back very, very soon, Sean, I promise. But there's a lot of stuff going on and I don't want to lose reputation because of the unclean floors and stuff. I'm on my way. Stop your beeping. Hey, Ghost Elvis. Right. Right, 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 right. I know. Ooh, damn. Damn. Look at this mess. Oh, <laughs> it's such a mess here. Luckily, we didn't lose any reputation points. Oh, wow. Look at the place. We need to hire more staff, I feel. I think that's a good idea. Oh, and this one. Oh, anxiety. <laughs> oh, look at the queue. Okay, we'll do fuel first. Okay. And then we'll serve some customers. Da -da 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 -da. Stop your beeping cars. We know you can't get through, but that's something that will fix itself very soon. But it does, the Junkyard DLC stuff does look like it sort of um, marries up with this part of the station. Like, it's cool that we can take parts off those scrap vehicles and use them in our own garage. I imagine there's more to it than that as well, but it's cool that we can do that. So, you know, it's a cheap-ish way of uh, getting spare parts in. I wouldn't say cheapest because we still have to pay somebody to deliver the wrecks. We don't have to pay for the wrecks, though, I don't think. It's just the uh, delivery of them. Okay. Record junkyard times two. We're nearly done with this queue. Everything's getting calmer. <laughs> Oops. Had a bolted that one, but she didn't notice. <laughs> so funny that that happens. Okay, good. To the junkyard. Do, 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 do. You hear that snake? My another four-ish hours and she'll be on duty. And take over. Right, where were we? Ah, yeah. 
There's nothing left on that car, so we got the wheels on this one. Not too difficult, is it, to take these off? It's quite a, like, decent little mini game. Doesn't require too much. Ice cold. I'm a pro. Time to show you what we do here with such rascals. Nothing will help this poor rack anymore. You'll see the genius of destruction in action. Ooh. Uh, watch how Sean is operating the crane. We're gonna crash it. So do we share profits with Sean? Because we give him like 500 bucks. Yeah! Check these moves. Four seconds left. Miller with the ball. Dribbles left. Steps back. Takes a shot. Big bang! Yeah, it seems easy enough. Car crusher. And nice. Hell yeah! That was dope. Is it my turn? Uh, mood improved. <laughs> I left the second one for you. Why, thank you. Crane operator. He's a crane operator. Yeah. Okay. Seems easy enough. Okay, that's not too bad. That's what's up. You ate that, man. Oh yeah. And there it is, a fresh delivery. Come on, get these cars off the transporters. Transport new racks to the square. How do we use the crane? Maybe we do. Yeah, let's go all the way over here. I guess we do. Keep it up. Ah, oh, we drop them in the squares. You Got it. The Transport it doesn't always reach the destination. Road accidents, wrong choice of driver, many different reasons. Well, I'll try to make sure that doesn't happen. On the wallet, especially since we pay them in advance. But this time, we're lucky. <laughs> Damn, I'm excited. Okay, man, you can come down. We gotta check them out. Okay, any repairable? Well, there's no engine in this one. There is an engine in this one, though. Equip the, equip the wrench and use inspect mode. <laughs> I don't believe it! I've been looking for these parts for weeks! At this Condition, rate, we control, a toughness. Quickly. Ooh. Okay, okay, but first we, we need to invest. I mean, you would need to invest. Me? Buying a storage for such a thought this was a business, business partnership. A piece of cake, right? Buy junkyard storage using the PC. How much is this going to set us back? <laughs> um, is there a PC in here? Probably is, right? Yes, there is. Oh, Amelia will be on duty soon. Okay, upgrades, uh, junkyard. What are we doing? Junkyard storage. 250. Oh, we can do 250. So I'm guessing parts we take off cars can go in there for rebuilding other cars, maybe? Equip the wrench and disassemble all parts from both wrecks. Amelia should be on. Yes, Amelia's on duty. Now we're good. Cool. Okay. It's time to play with Theodore again. I'll take one of those. One of these. One of these. So do these go into storage automatically? Is that how it works? I guess so. What happens if you miss? You get another shot. Is there a penalty? Remove supercharger first. Ooh, that was close. Why are they getting so small? <laughs> okay. Is that everything? No. Why are they so small now? 
<laughs> oh, and mirrors. And front fender. Maybe it just doesn't come off as cleanly or something, maybe, if you don't, if you miss outside the orange zone. Hmm, you're starting to treat these cuties with grace. You can check if our fresh parts are safe and sleeping sweetly. Okay. Check the new junkyard storage tab inside the inventory. So, uh, ah, I see. All for today. Two categories of parts. Dedicated parts only fit specific car models. Front bumper, rear bumper, hood, left and right door. Universal parts can fit all car models. Engines, turbos, exhausts, spoilers, mirrors and rims. See you later. Each part affects some of the car statistics. Powered aerodynamics, control or toughness. Each part can appear in three different tiers depending on its condition. Scrap, silver, worst condition and stats. Robust, blue, medium condition and stats. Top, gold, best condition and stats. Okay, so we have quite a few things. Cover the gold parts even. Turn to the gas station using the shortcut. Shortcut, that's what I like to see. We got five males to answer. The shortcut is a porter body. <laughs> okay, let's do some cleaning up because this place is a mess. I, I need to hire a second member of staff tonight, maybe one. Let's do that now. Oh, we can't. We need to buy another trailer first. So we're going to buy another trailer. Then we're going to hire another member of staff. And we're going to set them to work in the garage and for sweeping. See, speaking of which, there's a car that's been waiting in the garage for quite some time, isn't it? Wait for a call off Sean. But in the meantime, we can uh, catch up on some chores. And serve this guy has been waiting in the garage for a long, long time. Sorry, ma'am. I understand you've been waiting a while. So the parts there. Ah. So the wheels we took off, we can reuse. That's, that's really handy. Same as buying them all the time. We can just uh, recover them off scrap vehicles. Very good to know. What are you guys thinking of the Junkyard DLC so far? Let me know. I know it's early days yet, but... Still, you can make an opinion, right? Oh, we only got one of these left. Need to buy more. Just see if they're on offer. De-scratchifying. Oops. And there's a wheel there we need to replace. Boop, 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 boop. And we're done. Amazing. Thank you for your business, ma'am. Y'all have a good day now. We read some of our emails while we're waiting. Um, so just an email from Sean. Junkyard deliveries. Yeah, we know about them. Quick check and uh, check, quick check out and disassembly. Uh, CC Duo, Catch and Throw, Catch and Destroy. Time to talk about CC Duo and Crane and Crusher. If you want to transport the car, remember that your friend Crane will help you. Move gracefully while carrying the car and remember that you cannot throw it just anywhere. Either a wreck spot, a garage, or a crusher. Ooh, a garage, so I guess we can drop it in the garage to rebuild it. Crusher, what a dope machine. If you find some lame wreck in a poor state or just want to have some fun, don't hesitate to throw it in there. It'll leave the world accompanied by juicy and satisfying sounds. Just throw the car into the crusher and a total devastation will happen. And this is what we already know about the uh, state of car parts. So we're waiting for a phone call from Sean. Let's just give Emile a hand. Um, customer at fuel, soybean dealt with. As well as the regular beep beeps. Yeah, we did have a lot of money. We've spent a fair bit of that now, haven't we? I feel we're still okay. Hope these dust storms don't come around too often. So we got $636. How much is it to purchase a second trailer? Um, upgrades. No, it's not upgrades. It's features. Other. No, it's not. 
lottery machine is used to generate profit and boost gas station popularity. Eight and a half thousand ought to buy a lottery machine. Damn. <laughs> 750 to buy another fuel dispenser, though. That might be worth it. Um, car wash. $1,000 to restore the car wash. Could do that next, I suppose, but... Um, employee trailers. Ah, there we go. $500 for the next one. We could buy that, then. Second trailer confirmed. I'm thinking, then, we hire member of staff so uh mayumi's good at fueling not so good at cleaning cash register okay repairing okay ice cream vending and cinema handling um two two three okay so she nina seems like a good choice so you nina are now going to be a uh repair you're going to repair cars and you're going to clean the station and you're going to start now <laughs> I have to make sure we have enough money to pay them at the end of the day, though, otherwise they'll refuse to work. I, th I feel like this is a good choice. That should cover both bases. Maybe I should have had one of them starting the day, though. Oh, hi. Um, okay. I'll serve you. Then we'll go answer the uh, phone call from Sean. Undoubtedly, Emil will want to uh, take over again. What's kicking, little chicken? <laughs> What's kicking, little chicken? You have to check that out. Meet me in that big building behind the crane. See ya. Okay. Return to the junkyard and find the garage. She's happily working away on there. We have two hundred ninety-eight dollars. We have enough to cover any wages. We do need to buy more of these, though, because we don't have any at all. Let's order some more of those. Finally, we've got a computer in each one of these rooms. Um, delivery, parts. Are they on offer, at least? They are. Okay, so we'll buy two of them. Buy two of them. Ooh, wheels are on offer, too. Um, 450. Oh, we don't have enough for that. <laughs> okay. Um, that'll do. Wait for the delivery then. Because Nina isn't going to start work. Oh, she has started work. Okay. I don't think she was going to start work yet. No, it's all good. It's all good. Hopefully we have enough to pay him at the end of the day. <laughs> we should be able to make enough money to pay them. I'm going to keep the place clean until somebody turns up. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with the current status quo. So we just gotta cover the garage at night, so we can do stuff with the junkyard during the day. And then cover the garage at night. Or the gas station at night, should I say. Do we use a shortcut, or... Yes, use the shortcut. Beep yourself. Yay! Teleportation. Technology of the future. Photo. <laughs> Tell me it's a photo book here. Welcome yeah. to the shiny, magical, breathtaking junkyard garage. It's amazing. Oh, there's a photo spot. Move to exhibition. What the? Don't worry. It's okay. All health and safety rules have been observed. We're safer here than the president in the White House. Eh, uh, sure. All right. <laughs> Remember the wrecks that recently came to us? Well, yes. Well, I needed some cash quickly, uh, so I dusted one. But the second one is still there. You Get sold inside. one of the cars I paid for. I'll wait here. That's a bit cheeky. Transport the wreck to the platform using a crane. Okay. There's our beauty. Okay. Will it go that far? Where do I drop it? Transport the wreck to the platform using crane. It's not in there, is it? Because it's the crusher. Am I being blind? What platform? Oh, wait, that platform. The other side. <laughs> I was being blind. There we go. 
Come on over. Okay, we have to start with the parts. Okie dokie. A couple of days ago, I bought a chemical bath, so you can clean them there. I don't remember if there are enough chemicals left. At most, you, you will have to add some. Replenish chemicals and put some parts to the chemical bath. Chemical bath is used to wash parts from rust and dirt. Each part has an indicator showing current dirtiness. Move all possible parts from the storage to chemical bath using left mouse button and right mouse button or button at the bottom. Puddle. Replenish chemicals concentration, otherwise uh, washing won't be possible. Do it regularly as it decreases during washing. Washing takes a while, exit the bath and come back later. All right, man. The parts will need some time, so we can switch to the bodywork. I have one great tool that you can use to clean it. A okay. Pick it up and get to work. It's a simple matter. Okay. I think we're doing okay. <laughs> Is like an indicator of uh, stand close to the wreck and left most button to start grinding, okay. How much does one have to do? Yeah, keep it up. Maybe it's just like a majority thing. But most of it looks like it's been done, it's probably done. I'm assuming we do the top bit as well. Stand close to the rack of the body and hold left mouse button when pointing uh, on it. Tool will adjust to the surface. Uh, okay. Let's just keep doing this until it's considered finished. Almost there. Looking like new already. <laughs> See how it regains its shine? Man, this is the best feeling in the world. Time to swap parts in the bath. You need to develop the right habits. Hit me up after. Okay. Remove clean parts from the bath and replace them with dirty ones. Take all. Puddle. <laughs> Easy enough. Talk with Sean. So, listen. Soon you're going to design your first car. You'll plan the entire appearance of the car. Parts, paint, decals, everything. Then that was cool. you're going to assemble it. And that's what I wanted to talk about. Right after I got here, I found a very strange tool buried in the sand. No matter how it may sound, uh, this tool works like it's out of this world. Ooh, it's alien. Man, it, it looks like it was left by a UFO. I'm not kidding. I, I wanted to warn you so that your jaw doesn't drop too much. <laughs> now go check the back. The punch should be clean by now. Done? Now, as I said, it's time to dress this beauty. I'll gotcha, you, rookie. Okay, use design button on the platform panel to plan your first customization. That's a category to display a list of applicable parts that can be assembled to this car. Select desired part to add it to the car. Each part has specific stats depending on its condition. Parts in lower condition will have lower stats. Parts affect the car price. Parts in better condition are more expensive. Selecting this icon will display details. Okay. Two hundred and two ankle tribute, twenty thirty per cent. Of course, <laughs> of course. The rear bumper, um, left door, 
Hot and lower conditions such as scrap or robust have sl uh, slight visual defects. Okay. Um, left door. Right door. Front wheels. We've got pretty decent wheels on, haven't we? Rear wheels. Spoiler. Gotta go for the good one. Fuel rear exhaust. Mirrors. V6 engine. Root blower GTS. So this car's now worth $851. El Domino hood. Parts affect the overall car's stats and are calculated based on an average. Use this button to paint the whole car. Paint whole car. Here you can choose the color of the car, select one of them to see how it looks. Sweet, that looks good. When you're ready, use the play button to confirm the design and proceed to car assembly. Oh sure. Yes. Yeah, this car is dripping. Now take this ready to assemble. alien tool and turn the whole design into something tangible. Pick up the multi-tool. That's the toilet. <laughs> um. It's gonna be one hell of a ride. Ooh. You feel me? Oh, that's cool. Wow. Have you seen that? Can we use this in the garage. <laughs> Told you! Told you! Nice. This is a good tool. Oh, I'll be so cool if we can use this in the garage for repairing cars, but I doubt we'll be able to. <laughs> is that all the parts? Oh, we haven't put the exhaust on yet. We all have a bumper. Okay, what else are we missing? This mirror. Tires are on. Front bumper's on. What are we missing? What have we forgotten? Ah, spoiler. This tool works wonders! Oh, what a job! Oh, I'm fired up! Oh, remember how oh, Sweet. Oh, look at it now! Oh, oh, come on, we need to get some photos. <laughs> Use move to photo spot uh, button on the planner. You know what I like about you? Oh, it's teleported. You can listen. Speaking is a, a bit worse. But this is enough for me. I can speak for two of us. <laughs> Use photo spot panel to take a, make a photo of the car. Catching. Get it to the exhibition. We're gonna find it a new home. Move to exhibition. Nice. We'll make some good dough. Is it gone? We have <laughs> to hand over part of it to the investor. Uh -huh. the Is that Yankel by any chance? Once again, I literally signed a pack. Oh, look at all the customers that we at the garage. This old bespectacled man in a gangster hat is a nit. I'm not playing. <laughs> yeah, we all know. We know all too well who that is. Come on, Sean, walk a bit quicker. At least we can make some money off this. It's going to be worth doing. Come on. We could sell his car. Oh, there's the um the showcase thing. Exhibition. Nice. Come on, Sean, what do we do next? And now it's time to dust this car. Okay, use the sale tab on the board to put the car for sale. Sale. When selecting a car, its details will be displayed here. Move the slider to lower or increase the price at which you would like to put the car for sale. Oof, $1,547. Reach medium, reach high, reach low. Maybe I'm thinking on the upper edge like that. This will change the customer interest, which will affect the chance of selling the car. Okay. Now set the price and confirm to put the car on sale. Remember that the investor takes his share. Yeah. Putting a car for sale involves a, f a fee each time. Keep this in mind when setting the price. It's like Auto Trader. <laughs> Use exit button to leave the sale. Oh, 
I'm exhausted. It's so hard to give orders all the time. Now we'll have to wait for a potential buyer. As soon as I know something, I'll let you know. Okay. Chill a bit now. I'll see you later. No deliveries we can look for yet, so uh, let's go back to the garage and do some work over there. We have a queue. Oh, we, we have a queue and a half. <laughs> Okay, let's do this thing. Hopefully Sean comes back to us in the daytime when we got employees on site doing all this stuff. But time to earn some dollar. Luckily, there's no party buses here. <laughs> oh. Whoa, super. super duper. Eight new messages. Catch up on some of those once these tasks are out the way. Oh, we got delivery to take care of as well, haven't we? Okay, we'll serve these two. Then we'll sort out the delivery. We need to do that before we work at the car in the garage, I guess. Okay, so we're making our money back slowly. Already back up to nearly $200. Thank you very much. Um, right, delivery. Let's go. Customer at fuel. Yeah, we need to order some more fuel. What's the price at today? Is it better? Oh, it is better. I'm going to get some of that. We're going to order as much fuel as we can when we have the money. We're going to fill the tank right up at that price. I got rid of the dancing bear thingy. You guys probably liked it, but need to create some space. Yeah, we're going to make some money now, and we're going to um, put some mirrors there. Yeah, we're going to order as much fuel as we can while it's at a decent price. Okay, so what's wrong with this car? Why can't we raise the car? Ah, there we go. Oh, Nino's working on it. Okay. I'll, I'll leave you to it. Oh, it's daytime shift now. We can have a bit of a break. <laughs> we got Emil, Amelia, and... Okay, I'll sort this one out. No worries. Don't mind helping. Ah, uh, Yeah, sorry. Sorry, officer. Forgot we didn't have a lot of fuel. Oops. So I wonder if they empty the bins as part of the cleaning thing. Hopefully that's part of the uh, regime, but I'm not entirely sure. We're up to three hundred and fifty-one dollars now, so I might buy some more fuel. Just really get a good stock of it in, so we haven't got to worry about it for a while. Then we will save up to open up the car wash. Car wash. 280. So we're going to order another 200 litres when we got enough money to do so. We're looking on supplies. Not too bad. I think we the papers, but we'll soon solve that. We may need to order some more groceries soon. Okay, we now have fuel. We're going to soon have more fuel. What's your order, Mr. Ma Army Man? Oh geez, stop with your horn blowing already. Answer the call from Sean. Hello? Hello there. Amelia. Oh. You probably didn't expect a call from me. Did no, you? I didn't, Uncle. I am the secret investor of the junkyard. No way. And I have to admit that so far, Sean has not lived up to my expectations. He is a handyman, but buries himself in his own creeds and fantasies. I didn't want to drag you into this. 
But I see that your presence has a positive impact on this place. We'll make it work. Maybe it will also allow this place to survive. But now, I recommend you go back to the junkyard. Someone is waiting for you. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Go into the junkyard and talk with Sean. Yeah, definitely not ominous. Okay, let's make sure you got enough supplies to do what you need to do. Pretty sure we ordered some of those. Did we not? Unless we didn't have used them all. Pretty sure we ordered some of those. Uh, parts. Scratch remover. One, two, three, four. We're okay on mirrors. I think we're okay on tires. So if we order those a second. We're going to order some more fuel as well. What we can. Delivery. Fuel. Oh, so we'll order another 100 litres then. We said order. Ordering is impossible. Oh, we can have one delivery at a time. Okay. We are running out of snacks and stuff. So maybe we should sort that out soon too. Here's all messages we already know about. Yep. Yeah. Alien invasion. <laughs> Paparazzi. After each successful assembly, you decide to oh, you take a photo of it. Sale. The element will keep us in business for time to develop. You can... Maybe, okay, we already know that as well. So it's just basically the written version of what we, uh, we've already been told. Okay, so I think our two employees are doing okay. Got a car coming in, so... Uh, they can work on that. Our delivery. Here's our delivery. We can order more snacks, I think. Customer at the cash register. Customer at the cash register. Sorry, folks. I hope you enjoy this game because this is going to be another long video. It's going to be difficult to showcase all the parts of the Junkyard DLC in like a, a 30 minute video, so. It's probably going to be about an hour and a half. <laughs> they hope you don't mind. This is like more of a let's play video than a first impressions, really, isn't it? As soon as that closes, we can get going. Cool. Right. We need to make sure we got a good stock of things. Otherwise, she's not going to be able to complete the work on the cars that she needs to do. So four of those should be enough to keep it going for now. All the mirrors are up there. Right. Um... Now we can order some more stuff and things. Delivery products. Let's order some snacks, shall we? So anything with a green icon uh, means it's a decent offer. Anything red means it's, you still make a profit, but it's somewhat overpriced. Worth keeping in mind. How much money have we spent so far? 180, okay. Uh, 420, that's uh, probably enough. Insufficient, oh. Ooh, hasty then, wasn't I? <laughs> okay, snacks. It's sort of just the snacks for now, then. Uh, there's a fee, so we're going to add some cigarettes onto that. There we go. Because I doubt there's many up here, but we do have some in stock. Okay. Go to the junkyard, because that's what this video is mainly about. Let's go. They can look after the store. It's a shame they can't take the deliveries while well, we're not there. That would be handy if they could do that. Maybe like a little bit later on we can hire like a manager um, worker who will deal with that sort of thing. Hey, Sean. What's up? I just called you. But the number was busy. We have sold our first car, man. Yay. We are becoming recognizable. Soon clients will be running our doors in. Let's take a look at the board and see what I mean. Sale. Claim reward. Nice. Car price $1,926. Investor share $578. So experience points and $1,349. Nice. Very nice. Look at that. Congratulations. Every car sold has an influence on your fame progression. Visit this tab to see details about fame levels and unlockable rewards. So fame. Gather experience points to reach new levels of fame. Experience can be gathered either by crushing the wrecks or by selling them. Each new level unlocks new rewards. 
new models of wrecks, types of car paint, colors, styles, decals, decorations, and landmarks. Cool, okay. So we're well on our way to level one. Now we have to follow the flow. I'm gonna head to the garage. You should work on new cars. You have a knack for it. Just in case you need something, I left a chart on the office wall. It's a list of all the activities that need to be done to assemble a new car. Our assembly guide. Andy. Lot of work to do. Let's order a new car. Um, 85% of arrival. Let's go for it. We have the money. We can do it. Reach the fifth fame level. Use crane to take delivered wrecks from the car transporter. Disassemble parts from the wreck using wrench. Clean car parts. Clean the wreck body using a grinder. Okay, we can do this. So while waiting for the delivery, let's head back to the garage. Oh, hang on, we're going the wrong way here. Yeah. I'll sort out all the snacks while we're uh, waiting for the car deliveries, the wreck deliveries. I'm enjoying this so far, though. What do you guys think of the uh, DLC so far? Obviously, I don't want to show you all of it because then if you're going to play it yourself, you know, what's the fun in that? They're still on duty. I think they stay on duty till about 8 o'clock, so that's handy. Maybe when the garage is doing a bit better financially, we'll hire some night workers. So they can cover sort of like some of the uh, jobs at night. Okay, let's get all these snacks down. Let's get some alcohol down. Let's get some cigarettes up. Did we buy any soft drinks? No, we didn't, do did we? Um, newspapers. There's always room for newspapers. <laughs> Plenty of room for newspapers. Okay, so delivery, fuel, we're going to order 500. Oh. What did I say then? Upgrade your warehouse. So does the warehouse take up room? Uh, so does gas take up room in the warehouse? Gas station. Ah, so fuel 350. Fuel left 350. So our capacity is 350. Um, so storage wise then. Warehouse is level 2. Oh no, it's 350. So the fuel does take... Oh, we'll upgrade that. Oh, we can't yet. Yeah, we can. We're going to upgrade that. We, we need more capacity in the warehouse. Well, we may not have needed to do that, actually. Just thinking about it. Um, inventory capacity plus 250. Fuel capacity plus 150. Oh, no, it's separate. Okay, I thought it was one big number then. It threw me a little bit. So now we can cut uh, 500. Nice. I'm happy with that. Let's order some more snacks. <laughs> that's, that's parts. Um, products. Oh, wait, we already got an order on the way, have we? Yeah, fuel. Because we've already got, already got fuel on the way. Can't order another delivery. I wonder why that is. Because, like, the fuel truck goes this way and the other ones go this way. So, surely we should be able to order, like, two at the same time, right? To use different roads. When we get up to $1,000, folks, we are going to unlock the car wash. I think that's a good next step. Good natural next step. But first, let's just make sure we have enough things here for the wrecks that we're about to take delivery of. Customer at garage, so repairing. How good are the NPCs are repairing vehicles, I wonder? And um, we're still okay for them, still okay on mirrors. We don't have any tires left, though. We do need to order some tires. So now that's being delivered, will it allow us to order some tires? Oh, we might be able to rip them off these wrecks. So the one delivery, uh, one wreck's at the junkyard. Is the other one on the way? Did it get stuck somewhere? Oh, I forgot about the shortcut. Could have used that. <laughs> to the crane. Did we one failed?
Okay. Let's get this out. We have the mirrors. We have a battery. Maybe it's like a combo thing. Maybe like... I'm guessing keeping in the orange area is more likely that you'll take like a gold standard part of it maybe? I think that's all the parts of this car that we can grab. Yeah, maybe the other one got lost. Can't take the engine out. Okay. Um, nothing will help this poor wreck anymore. So this is for the grinder now. Okay, nothing will help the wreck. So let's... Uh, not salvageable. Let's destroy it. Which is a shame. Poor car. Second fame level unlocked. Nice. So should we see what happened with the other vehicle? Livery icon color, silver, blue or gold indicates its tier. Higher tiers have bigger chances for a better condition reward. Is she still on the way with it then? Ooh, paint style. Flames. Oh, I failed. Driver indisposed alcohol. Really? Come on now. Refresh for three contract points. Uh, no. So, oh, we don't go any anyway. So, this automatically refreshes. Oh, there's something on you anyway. Well, you drank last time, so you last down. Um. Wing spoiler. Destroyed wreck. Destroyed wreck. Okay, well, Big Tune is going to do it this time because she lets down. Ah, oh, we need both. Who are we kidding? Let's send both. Don't let us down this time. Oh, both our employees are resting, so it's time for us to look after the garage. Or the gas station. We have a good amount of fuel, a healthy amount of fuel in stock. Ah, there's quite a few people at the cash register here. Uh -oh. Almost missed that then. Um, how are we looking on fuel prices? Still one dollar ninety. Worth buying some more while it's still this price. It might go down again tomorrow, but it's it's not worth the risk, is it? We'll find out at midnight. You too, my friend. Yeah, the gas station's getting busy now, though, isn't it? With like, um, customers who want something from the shop. Either way, we've upgraded our warehouse, so we have more capacity all around now. Super. Out of curiosity, what is the next... Um, the car wash level 1 requires $1,000. Workshop level 3. Oh, we can unlock battery exchange. is also $1,000. And, oh, we can upgrade to car wash level 2 in the same tier as well. Good to know. Nice okay, so it's gone midnight. How much is fuel now? Is it cheaper? It has gone up quite a bit, so I'm glad we ordered it when we did. We have a good amount in stock as well, so that's good. Didn't have to order fuel for a while. We can now afford to wait for the price to come down. Nice. Nice. Thank you for your custom products. Um, car key. Let's order some of this, some of this. Um, let's have a look. Alcohol. Let's order some of this. Some soft drinks. Some of this. Don't need any more newspapers for now. That should do for now. Who's beeping? Oh, fuel delivery. Uh, fuel delivery, done that one. Uh -oh, you Garage. We do need, do need to order some more car parts. Don't have any tires. I bet you want tires, don't you? You need tires? We're not going to find out yet. Beep. Oh, one of our wrecks is about to show up. Tires, mirror. 
we have we have mirrors we can do the mirror um guess we need to order some tires delivery parts probably not gonna let us do it yet is it Quit with the honking. Holy sand piles. Maybe there's some wheels on these ones. At least they both successfully arrived this time. We take the wheels off his car. <laughs> Imagine if you could, that'd be so funny. I'm a coming. We gotta take him here. These controls you get used to have a little while. They're not too bad. We're not gonna drop it straight into the crusher. <laughs> haven't had a chance to take parts off it yet. Let's close the crusher, just in case. Magic wrench. Is there really nothing on that car of use? No value. That's disappointing. And nothing more on this car either. Oh, damn. We didn't salvage anything off that one car, did we? Well, I guess they both fit for the crusher then. Any parts to go in the chemical bath? No. Huh. Hey, Sean. Oh, the map's in here as well. That's handy to know. Um, workshop battery. Reveal parts. No. <laughs> Destroyed rack. Okay. Uh, go get it, Rich. Uh, that's the only one we're going to really afford to do now. Um, yes, we must do the car wash when we reach $1,000 next. Okay, so I guess these two cars are fit for... Compactor. Disappointed we didn't get much off them, isn't it? So we get some experience for crushing them. We had two wheels off that one car, so I wonder if they'll now be available in the um in our garage in the gas station. Be worth checking that. Have a look. Oh, party bus is coming. <laughs> Bad timing. Oh, wow, look at the mess in here. People dropping litter everywhere. Well, we're going to have a busy night. We don't want our reputation to drop, do we? Let's finish sorting out this guy's car, though, before they turn up. Um, So we should, in theory, now have some tyres. Nice. Oops. Which tire is it? It's just the other side, wasn't it? Just the one. Okay, so that we did kind of gain from that then with the fact that we had some free wheels. We paid $180 for the car. We had, um, I think we had two wheels off the one, so kind of didn't balance out in that sense, but uh, we don't have any all left, do we? No. Oh, no. Sandstorm. My frame rate has dropped right down with the sandstorm. I don't know what's going on there. Game doesn't like sandstorm. Oh yeah, it's fixed itself now. It really didn't like the sandstorm on the party bus being here at the same time. Oh, and this bin's full. 
I know, I know, I'm torn it, I'm torn it. Hopefully that doesn't cause too much of an issue. At least the frame rate fixed itself. Hopefully they release a uh, patch to fix that. Incredible. Oh, there's going to be so many customers. <laughs> well, hopefully our staff will be on duty very soon to help with this. Top of the line job there. Thanks, officer. At least the cleanliness level is still somewhat in the green. We'll have to try and sort out in the sack, though. I think we definitely need to just hire some nice staff. Have a nice day. How much is the next trailer bit? Out of curiosity. Oh, 500 again. Okay, so it's not too bad. There's 500 for another trailer. And then just the awesome. staff members' wages. Which hopefully we've paid. Uh, yep, we're good. Yeah, we may need to take on a nighttime member of staff. And the good thing is as well, they have an hourly wage depending on the type of job they're doing. And if they're not working, you're not paying them. Like with some games, you have to pay them a fixed fee, which can be good or bad depending on how busy you are. Um, on this one, you just pay them for the hours they work. But I think that's probably better in a way. How much do I owe you? Okay, before we go too much further, let's do a bit of cleaning up. Because these guys have made one hell of a mess on the floor. Oh good, the staff are back on uh, on shift. Oh, thank, thank goodness. <laughs> I think when the member of staff is finished fueling that car, it will probably kick me off this cash register for her to do it. It'll just stop working. Like... There we go. So now she's coming back, it won't let me take over. Then go back to fix, uh, fix this car. Oh no, she's going to fix the car now. We don't have... We have some of those. We have mirrors. We have tires. Okay, so we're not too bad at the moment. But while they're sorting out there, let's take delivery of this stuff. I love that music. It plays when the uh, party bus comes in. Then we'll go sort out the wreck of the junkyard. Yeah, you got four shelves in there now in our warehouse. We're expanding. Oh, I didn't know you could take that off the we uh, window. Oops. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> to the junkyard. We're turned around then. Uh, only one of our cars. I was going to say only one of our cars made it, but um, we only had enough money for one, didn't we? Hopefully, we can rebuild this one. Although I'm not optimistic, but we get some more uh, wheels out of it. Uh, so we got a wheel and a battery. Oh, and anything else? Salvageable? No. I would really like to get another car to sell. That would be awesome. That would be very handy. I would like to rebuild the car. Again. Look. We've got this rack. Oh, it's just a workshop battery on that one. Uh, Bodge right door. And uh, Aldomino front bumper. Where we send Scotty Potato for those. Oh, it's only 65% chance of recovering that, though. I'd rather send this guy because it's a higher chance. Um, I'll we'll give Scotty Potato a go on this one. Hopefully he serves as proud. 
Uh, I guess we need to crash this other car. This is nothing else. I mean, nothing will help this poor rack anymore. So if we try to put this in the workshop, will it allow us to? And it will. This rack does not belong here. Okay. Crusher it is. At least we get some experience from it. And hopefully the other uh, two wrecks make it here in one piece. The car sale right about now would be good. Okay, so do we have any sand blocking the roads? I think we're I think we got lucky with that one. What's wrong? You're kidding. Oh, oops. Sorry. Did not mean to do that. My bad. Oh, there's a reputation hit. We were so close to level six as well. Our Rex are on the radar. Or oh, one of them is on the radar. I guess Potato didn't uh, successfully complete his job. But we need to restock these. We bought more stuff, didn't we? Oops. Almost at the point where we can have night staff now. Do we hire another night. Uh, do we hire a night worker, or do we save up for um, the car wash? Choices, choices. Or do we buy another fuel pump? How much fuel do we currently have in stock? I think we're doing okay on fuel, though. Oh yeah, 257 liters. We're doing okay on that. Okay, well, our... Oh no, our Turex made it. Good job, Potato. I never doubted him. Hopefully one of these wrecks is... Uh, we can use to rebuild the cart for sale. Let's close that. We don't want to accidentally drop something in there. Not until we're ready. Not looking too promising on either of these cars for rebuilding. To be fair. Might just be parts. So we got wheel. We have a rear bumper at least. We got mirrors. And we got front bumper. So some of these parts we can salvage. And a door. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Ooh. This one might be salvageable. I'm optimistic for this car. I am somewhat optimistic for this one. We might be able to clean these parts off and rebuild this one. Any more parts on here? So, scrap. I mean, it's not saying either of them are beyond repair. I don't think we have enough parts to repair both, but what parts do we have? Put some stuff in the chemical bath and see what we got. Bench the oil concentration. So Eldamino hood, Eldamino V4 engine. We could probably do the Eldamino. Eldamino. So we're gonna we're gonna try and rebuild this car. Yeah, we're gonna try and rebuild that car. Today's your lucky day, car.
we need to grind it down. We don't design it yet. Waiting for... Ah, so we need to design it first. Clean rack before customization. Okay. La da dee, la dee da. Meanwhile, our gas station is just there making money for us. Just love it because it's running itself at the moment. Apart from the deliveries and stuff, which you can't do it by itself. As long as we keep on top of that, it will just keep making us money while we're busy in the junkyard. Prepping cars for sale. So the looks of it, you just have to do like all the, the visible parts on the front, back and sides. And we've got to do anything with the roof. Because that just kind of does itself. You have to do like maybe 75% of the body and then it's considered complete. Like so. a gauge or something I'm missing somewhere which tells you like how close you are to completing it. Or do you basically just do wherever you can reach? I think that's the case. If we do the back now that should be enough to sort of show it as being complete. Maybe? Yes. Done. So this goes back. Then we design the car. So, front bumper is going to be... I was waiting to be cleaned. Oh, actually, we should check that first. Zero clean, take all, put all. Yeah, wait for them to be cleaned a sec, and then we'll have a good choice of all the parts we got available. But we can also have the opportunity to rebuild this one. I wonder if you can um, upgrade the, the junkyard so you can work on more than one car at a time. I feel like that's a thing we can do. Um, car junkyard. You got office two. Three new states, two new uh, two market slots plus better drivers available. Um, two new slots for a car exhibition. Two two slots for storing racks. Most it's an additional platform to customize racks. More storage capacity. So yeah, <coughs> eight thousand dollars for that, and contract points. Take all. Oh, they're both resting. There's a customer at the garage. Damn it. <laughs> right, front bumper. Um, they That one's slightly better, so we'll go with that one. Oh, we don't have a rear bumper. Left door. We don't have a right door. <laughs> it's not going well, is it? Got some half-decent wheels, though. Spoiler. We don't have an exhaust, we do have mirrors we can use, we do have an engine we can put in it. Paint whole car, and we're gonna have this one green. I feel like we should recover more wrecks first though, because we don't have a dome, we don't have an exhaust. So we're gonna cancel that a sec. Yes. And we're gonna wait to recover. Actually, couldn't wait to recover it. We should just actually go ahead and order it, shouldn't we? We're going to need like an exhaust. Have a hood, rear bumper. Yeah, we didn't have a rear bumper, did we? So we could do with that. We don't have very good drivers in this area. It seems. Bodge Challenge Paytona. It's $90. He makes it back, he makes it back. We're waiting for them. Turn to... Oh, that's handy. We can sell parts that we don't think we're going to need. Nice. So do we try to assemble this car? The Bodge Challenge Paytona. What parts do we have for this car? We got a bodge front bumper, we got a bodge 
don't have a oh we do have a rock barge rear bumper but we don't have yeah we don't have a right door for the bodge the only thing we're really missing is the right door on the barge we're going to recover that from this other car that's coming in we might be able to rebuild the other one instead uh, with this one on there now I wonder if we can take it back out with a crane and store it to work on the other one so check that out um, where am I going I'm, I've lost I've lost myself I'm going this way We do need to hire a night worker, I believe. I think that's a good choice. We should do that. And we can just carry on with that. In the meantime... Oh, that's a two and a half, isn't it? Um, before we do that... Oh, what? Sorry, I just need to do something else first. I didn't know that would cancel it. Um, parts... You know, we don't have enough money to buy a trailer. But I feel like that was a good investment. Need some more car parts. Great job. We'll earn it back, it's fine. Maybe we'll even do the car wash. Car wash. Sorry. Ba -da -da -na 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 -na. You're welcome, officer. Oh, one of the wrecks is here. There's always a bit of a gamble. Um, oh, both of them are going to make it. Nice. Super. Yeah, I feel like this would be a worthwhile investment. Um... Bye, trailers. Bye. Bought the third caravan. That's the achievement. So, employees. Hiya. Um, three, 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 four, one. Three, three, two. I'll go with Juan. Because Juan's a bit cheaper. Juan, you are going to now be a night worker. Your primary job is going to be... And then the register, your secondary job is going to be to fill cars. Any repairs I guess I can do. And we'll auto pay you. And he's already got to work. Happy days. This will leave us to do more of the stuff in the uh, junkyard then. I think that's a good choice. Because we can earn quite a bit of money working in the junkyard. Oh wait, we have two deliveries, but we only have one storage slot free. So we're going to take one car off at a time and see if one's like a proper wreck. And if it is, we should probably take delivery of this stuff. First. It's a bit busy running a gas station, isn't it? We have forty-one dollars <laughs> to our name. Off with ya. The garage customer may have to wait until the morning shift comes on. What do we fix their car? Okay, we'll fix your car. A nice like that. What do we need? We need one tire. Okay, we can do that. Do 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 do. Nice day. That was quite easy, wasn't it? 
I will leave Juan to sort out the rest while we go back to the junkyard. I feel like this first car might actually be um, <laughs> rebuildable. I don't think this one's hopeless. Um, it looks to be in pretty decent condition. What car is this? Ah, no. So this is this has the parts we need to complete the other car. Sweet. And also. It's robust. It's in pretty decent condition. What was this one in then? Um, wrong way. That's scrap. That's robust. If the one we go on here is also scrap quality, it is scrap quality. Maybe we'll just get rid of this one then. And use that one. Because that's that'll go for more money. Yeah, okay, let's do that. If it'll allow us to after working on it. How good it will allow us to take it. You can go for scrap. Because you're not in good, good condition as the other one. And then you... Come with me. And then I can take this other one off the trailer then. There might be even better parts we can take off this one. Because this also looks in good condition. <laughs> Let's check it out. Scrap. Okay. But we can get some uh, decent parts off this as well. Enough to make one decent car. Oh, we got the rear bump, uh, rear spoiler, and fender. I think we have enough parts now to make a good complete car. Nice. Yeah, let's go sort this out because both of those we could technically rebuild. We won't scrap them both. Um, we do need to grind it down, but we do need to chemical wash the parts first. So we'll put them all in there and we'll get to work on this. Gas station seems to be doing okay. I mean, there's somebody waiting in the garage, but the day crew will be on duty soon. I'm not too worried about that. They can just wait a bit. Should we make this one purple? Like the original colour it was? I think that'd be a good idea. An ode to the original colour. Da 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 na 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 na. Like we're doing okay. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So what we're looking for is just to wait for the car to go like all the silvery color. Once it does that, uh, we're uh, we're finished. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Um, so we're going to design the car now. So front bumper, we're going to go with... We don't have any amazing quality parts. So we're going to go with that one. This one, we're go, oh, we're waiting for the... Oh yeah, we need to wait for the chemical bath to finish first, don't we? So we'll take all them, stick them in, wait for them to finish. Ash is full. That's okay, day shift will be in soon. wonder if, like... When the employees level up, you can assign them a third job, or whether it's only ever limited to two. I want to say it's probably going to be limited to two. But do they empty the trash? Is that something they would do? 
Okay, now we have all the parts that we currently have available for selection. The front bumper. Oh, we have a gold standard one. We have rubbish quality rear bumper. As long as we have one of each, though. Just so we can... Oh, we're missing a right door still. Damn it. We've even got, like, decent quality wheels. Still don't have an exhaust. Be four engines. It probably still allow us to uh, to make the car, wouldn't it? Six hundred and four dollars. What it's gonna cost to? I wonder if we could just sell it like this, just win a bit of money. <laughs> Apply. Yes. Okay, so it's gonna let us do it. <laughs> This isn't going to be a good car because there's bits missing, but it'll, it'll earn us some quick money. That's why I think I haven't used all the good parts on it. But we're only missing one door, right? Ink on the mirrors. If we use gold quality mirrors, we probably should have kept them. Uh, take photo. And then move to exhibition. And then put it up for sale. And this is going to be a rubbish price, I guarantee it. Let's try and get 1141 for it. Because why not? What was the other car? Do we have enough parts to make a complete other car? What do we, so what do we have? We had the Dodge Challenge Playtona. I both, right. Maybe we'll see if we have enough parts to rebuild this one then. This greeny color one. And the other one we'll send for scrap. Clean it up, see what we got. A good day cruise in now, so it should be taking care of everything. It does look like they empty trash bags though, because that warning's gone. Whether they just dump it on the floor or not, I couldn't say, but. Oh, we're working on this car actually. Should we just see what other cars are available to order in? We have this one, a cornered El Camino. We have. Forge Challenge Paytona, El Camino. Okay, so what if we order this one in? 100% or 95%? Oh, they're both the same price, so go for that one. And El Domino. El Domino. More square spoiler. Ah, uh, let's go for that. Why not? Or take a risk. Maybe if I pay off, might not. So hopefully we've got enough parts to rebuild a decent car out of this. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So I get a warning, I wonder, when um, somebody has bought the car. Let's get a notification when the car sells. There we go. That's ready to be designed. Do you have any parts that need to go in chemical bath? Nope. So can we make a full car out of you? We got front bumper. We have rear bumper. We have a left door. Oh, hang on. Which one's better? This one. We have a right door. We have some wheels. We have some more wheels. We have a pedestal spoiler. We don't have any exhaust. We do have some decent mirrors. We have an engine. We have a turbo. Oh, we don't have a hood. 
Hmm. Ah, look at that. Oh, sweet. Look at that. If we apply that, can we go back and alter it? Decals. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe we should wait for the other cars to arrive to see if we can get a, um, a bonnet off them. Look like they're pretty close. Our station's taking over nicely, making some money. Ice cream. <laughs> we can do the car wash soon. But... Well, I might leave that for the next video, actually, because this is mainly for the Junkyard DLC, isn't it? Let's get ready for the delivery. There they are, just coming in now. Oh, we still got that car to, uh, to munch, haven't we? Keep that a minute, just in case these two are unrecoverable. Oh, well, not unrecoverable, and, um, unsalvageable. Okay, what do we got? This looks in pretty decent condition. Not much we can do with this one at the moment though, because is this an alchemy? Um, no. Robust, dodge challenged. Dodge challenged, okay. So we'll get rid of this one, because we need room anyway. Dodge challenged. Be gone. And we'll bring this one in. Let's see if we got any decent parts on these. We're both scrap. Oh, we got exhaust on this one. Some wheels. And a hood. That's what we're after. Now we should have enough for a complete car. Um, anything else on here? Nope. Okay. Ooh. Gold quality. Blue quality. Okay, we should be able to make a decent car out of this. Out of all these parts. And that's robust as well. This one we'll probably get rid of then, the scrap one. But we'll see how we get on now. To the chemical bath. Is this robust? Scrap. Ah. We scrap this then. And get this one on the uh, platform. Or challenge Paytona. It's the same car, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Because we'll get more money for that. Better quality. I know we use a bit of time grinding it. But it'll be worth it when we earn some top dollar for it. And then you, my friend, now get a space in the winner's circle. While we're waiting for the chemical bath stuff to do its job, let's get a grinding. I'm optimistic we'll get a decent dollar for this one. I haven't seen any notices yet to say we've sold the other car. Maybe there's not a lot of interest in it. But we'll go and check the board now just in case. Da -da 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 -da. We have to order some more snacks and things in soon at the gas station. One thing I did like about Pumping Simulator 2, you know, there's a lot of things I like about Pumping Simulator 2, it's a good game, is that you could hire a manager and you could set like um, limits on how much they could spend and you could select the stock level of different items you wanted. So 
be nice if they implemented that into gas station simulator so you could just sort of like leave them to it okay that is ready to go that is ready to go like it let's stick all the best parts on this thing and see what we can come up with so we got that's going to be our front bumper that's going to be our rear bumper we have a left door we have a right door we have some decent wheels we have some more decent wheels we have spoiler we have a rear exhaust we have some mirrors got a nice V oh it's probably a V6 in it we have a hood this is a better quality one nice so main is going to be red second is going to be our color and third is going to be red as well apply yes I think this is going to get us some decent money Does actually assemble pretty quick to be fair. Get the exhaust on there, get the fender on there, get the spoiler on there, doors. <laughs> Why are the doors not a uh, body colour? <laughs> yeah, let's move this to the sexies. Take photo. I don't think we have to take a photo. I think that's just the game's way of getting to take a screenshot. <laughs> Move to exhibition. And then we're going to put this thing up for sale. Hopefully we get a decent price for it. So it doesn't look like we sold the other one. Um, details. We didn't sell that one. Okay. We'll come back to that then. Oh, only 1160. We're gonna have to uh, relist this one. How do we relist it? We get to relist it? Yes. If we ask for a thousand dollars for this one, maybe. Probably we'll sell them then. Deliveries. Altamino right door. Yeah, so we that'd be handy to have. Magnum mirrors. You can get this one. And I'm cautiously optimistic we might make a sale now. Here's our full court. Gas station simulator. Yeah, I'm assuming he'll give us a notification if we make a sale. I feel like this is a lot better quality than this one is, yet we've had to list them for very similar prices. Achievement level unlocked, getting famous. Oh, nice, we reached a um. A new, uh, what do you call it? Popularity level. Means even more customers for the gas station. Customer at garage. And we should be able to... Get more... Oh, I thought we took some wheels off some cars. Must have used them all. Don't have any of them either. Okay, what's wrong with our car? Wheels. Of course it's wheels. <laughs> one thing we don't have. Um, tires. One, two, three, four, five. We do need to order some engine oil in as well. We don't have many of them. What's that come to? 220. Let's order one for good measure. You'll be able to fix your car very soon. But in the meantime, we can do your mirrors. Or your mirror or should I say? 
Well, we need to make the sale for these cars. Get some dollar in. Okay, it's just two... One wheel now to get this fixed. And we're waiting on delivery. Back soon. Got a mess in here. It does look like it emptied the bins. That's good to know. Fuel status is low. How uh, much is fuel though? It's still stupidly expensive. 225. We've really got much of a choice, have we? But we need to make sure we keep enough money back to pay our workers. Come on, let's make a car sale. Yeah, man. Order a um, collection for the garbage. Come on in. Record junkyard. Maybe we're putting the cars up for too much money. There's medium interest. But every time we don't sell one, you still have to pay the fee. Right, we have your tires now. Let's do this thing. Oh, wait, was it one or two? There was only one. Not gonna complain him because we get more money for fixing more things, but but it was just the one. I do like these mini games. Does uh, make the game a lot more interesting having these little mini games to do for fixing things. You're welcome. You get some more monies in now, though. Zoom, zoop. Looks a bit of alright, doesn't it? Come on, we got this. There we go. Let's not drop it straight in the crusher. <laughs> okay, what do we got on this one? We have ooh, another exhaust. Always handy to have exhaust. We have a spoiler. Oops. Just down a bit then. Got a nice new engine. I don't know about new, but we got an air, air engine. Bumper. I guess we got a decent amount of spare parts off this one. The other one may have failed. Don't see it yet. Did have longer to travel, I think, the one, didn't it? But I remain cautiously optimistic for that one. Oh, you look at all these sales. They both failed. Oh, no, we sold them both. Nice. Cha-ching. Now we have some decent money, and we can afford the car wash. But I'm going to leave the video there, folks. What do you think of our first look at the Junkyard DLC for Gas Station Simulator? Let me know in the comments if you did enjoy this very long video. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Appreciate you watching. Until next time, everybody. Goodbye.